Hi, I'm Kim. Um, I am a Norwex consultant and I am here today to uh, make a short video to show you our Safe Haven 5 um, products. Um, I'm brand new with Norwex. I just started a couple of weeks ago and so this is one of my first full videos that I'm doing to show you my products. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I have been using Norwex products for a little over a year. I stumbled across it. I ran into an old friend at Target and she told me that she was having a, a brunch and um, she was going to uh, be having a demonstration of this Norwex product and I'm like, I've never heard of it before. And she said, oh my gosh, it's wonderful. They have this window cloth that is to die for. And I'm like, oh really? So. She said, it's going to be on Saturday morning. We're going to have mimosas. Stop over if you want to. And I'm like, okay, I think I will. Well, lo and behold, Saturday came, and I got busy and forgot all about the brunch. Missed out on the window cloth. Missed out on the mimosas. But anyway, so I called Rebecca, and I said, um, I miss Chantel's party, and I would love to know about this window cloth. She said, I can stop by either your house or your office or whatever and give you a quick demonstration. I'm like, that'd be great. Why don't you come to my office? So she did. She came to my office. She showed us the window cloth, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. This thing is amazing. Well, let me back up. So I told the girls in my office, I'm having this girl come and uh, show me this window cloth. And if you guys want to pop in when she comes, you're welcome to. So they all did, and I think there's six of us, and um, everybody came up, and she did a little demonstration of Norwex, and there I had my first Norwex party. Had no idea this was going to happen, but it just, everybody loved the stuff that she showed, and I had a Norwex party. I earned a bunch of stuff for free, and it was like totally amazing. All I did was ask her to come and show me this window cloth. This stuff is amazing and it sells itself. So since then, I have been trying to reduce chemicals in my house because I've learned that with Norwex, I can save money and I can save using chemicals all over my house. So I decided after a year and a half that it was time for me to start selling these products because I love them so much. Now, I don't know a whole bunch about all the logistics of how everything works. I know some of it, but I can tell you I use it and I love it. So I don't buy any cleaning chemicals anymore in my house. I clean with straight water. I used to buy, I used to love Mr. Clean, love the smell of Mr. Clean. I don't buy that anymore. I don't buy any window cleaners. I don't buy bathroom cleaners. I, I don't use... Uh, wax on my wood. I, I just don't, I don't use any of that stuff anymore. I clean my house with Norwex cloths and water. And so I'm telling you, I am, I'm sold on this stuff. And so that was why Rebecca said that I would be such a good Norwex consultant. So anyway, so I'm here today to show you uh, the Safe Haven 5. These are our most popular products. Um, and so I want to jump right in and show you the Enviro cloth. Um, this is the Enviro cloth. It is a microfiber cloth that is um, made by Norwex. It is their number one cloth. It is the cloth that started the business. It's a Norwegian company that started back in 1994 and it is a worldwide company now and it it's amazing. Anyway, I know I'm going to say that probably a million times. There's probably something else I should be saying more than this product is amazing, but it is. I love it. So Anyway, um, this is made of microfiber, and there's a difference in the microfiber in a Norwex cloth than a microfiber cloth that you would just buy in the store. Um, microfiber, uh, to, to be a good quality microfiber, um, it needs a lot of, of microfiber in it. Our microfiber measured out is one two hundredth of a strand of human hair. A microfiber cloth that you would buy in the store has one sixth of a strand of a human hair. So that's how much microfiber is in these cloths and that's what makes them work so well. Now the other great thing that about, um, about Norwex microfiber is their backlock system and that is a patented system that they have that this 
microfiber cloth is made with silver. Silver is what kills the bacteria. They use silver in lots of things in hospitals and things like that. Silver is wound in there is wound into the microfibers and that's what makes it clean up. When you wipe a surface with a Norwex microfiber cloth, you are cleaning up 99% of the bacteria on that surface. So that's another wonderful thing with um, microfiber, especially in the times that we're living in with the coronavirus. Um, you know, these things are selling like hotcakes. So anyway, so that's about, that's the logistics that I know about microfiber and Norwex. So the rest of it all is just experience and I'm excited to tell you about it. So with this, my, with this Enviro cloth, this is the Enviro cloth and each, each, um, a cloth has a little label on it that will tell you which which cloth it is because we have so many of them um, and it will tell you if it has backlock in it some uh, cloths do not have the back backlock in them and they're used for different things but most of them do have the backlock system that's the silver that takes up the 99% of the germs okay so this is um, in the enviro cloth think of E for everything you clean everything with this cloth and all you do is put water on it you wring it all out you put water in it you wring it all out and you clean all your surfaces you can clean everything with this wet cloth or you can use it dry so this is your everything cloth okay so the companion with the everything cloth is this cloth this is the window cloth this is your polisher Okay, so when you're going around your house and you're cleaning your windows or your granite countertops or your mirrors, you would um, wipe it with this Enviro cloth and then you would polish it with this. It's, it's kind of a silky, it's kind of a silky cloth and it's so pretty. It's, they come in pink and purple, so polish, think polish, pink, polish, purple. So I'm gonna show you a little trick here of just how great our window cloths work. So um, I, have, I have here this mirror that belonged to my grandma. Beautiful, beautiful mirror. And I'll tell you another story about that in, in just a minute. So I'm gonna take this mirror and I'm gonna rub it with butter. I'm gonna cover the whole surface here with butter. Okay, it's all covered with butter now. Okay, now I'm gonna take my wet Enviro cloth and I'm going to rub it all down and I'm gonna fold it. I might just rub it one more time, just make sure, okay? Then I'm going to take my polishing cloth and I'm going to wipe it off, dry it off. No butter, no streaks, perfectly clean mirror, okay? That's how great uh, Enviro cloths work. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing that I just figured out. Of course, remember, remember I'm new. Okay, so when you're cooking breakfast or whatever, dinner, whatever, and you splash grease all over your microwave, your stove, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna walk over here to my uh, stainless steel. Uh, I have a stainless steel refrigerator, a stainless steel microwave, and oven, and um, dishwasher. So let me show you something. So I've just cooked with bacon all morning, and my microwave that's above my stove is all greasy, greasy. You know, splattered all over it, okay? So I'm going to take my wet Enviro cloth and I'm gonna wipe down my microwave. Make sure it's getting wet. I'm gonna wipe all the grease underneath. Okay, then I'm gonna take my polishing cloth and I'm gonna wipe it all, dry it all off. And there you go, no grease, it was that simple to clean up a greasy microwave that's right above the stove. Or you can clean your stove, I mean, same thing. I just It's just easier for me to show you on the microwave. So anyway, that's the beauty of the window cloth, okay? One more story, let me tell you about the, the window cloth. Yesterday, I was gonna clean my windows in my living room. Now I have a pretty big window in there. Let me show you, okay? Pretty big window, okay? Picture window, two, and two windows on the side of it. I wet my Enviro cloth and I went over there and I washed all of those windows and polished them with this one. I only wet this one time, 
one time. And all of my windows are clean and no streaks. Then I got it wet after I finished the inside. I got it re-wet again, went outside, and now the outside of my windows were really dirty because uh, we've had a lot of rain. And it was must have been a dirty rain because my windows were all spotty and everything. Um, I used this. I wiped down my windows, did the polishing cloth on them. The windows were done. Th that easy. That It's just, I mean, wonderful. Wonderful window cloths. So that's the Enviro cloth. Clean everything with it. And then if you want to do shiny things, you want to use the, your polishing cloth. So another wonderful item that we have with Norwex is called the cleaning paste. And let me show it to you. It's like a hard paste. It's like a hard paste. You take your Enviro cloth and wet it, wet it, and then you, you rub your cloth on there. Try to get a little more on there, okay, like that. And then you can take off all kinds of scuff marks. You can clean your stainless steel sink. You can, I had something on the side of my stainless steel um, dishwasher, look like little rust spots or something. And so I thought, oh, I'll just get my cleaning paste out. So I did, rubbed it on the side and everything came off. Whatever it was on, what is on there is gone now. Um, you can use it on like your tennis shoes. You know, you got that white rim around your tennis shoes that is always dirty. Um, you can use it on silver. So here's the other story I want to tell you. This mirror that I showed you, um, the back side of it, this mirror belonged to my grandma. And um, she always kept it on her dresser, you know, like my whole life. So when she died, I took this home and I put it on my dresser. And I think of her every day when I look down at this mirror and the, the whole back of this mirror was like really dark and dingy looking. And I thought, I wish there was some way that I could clean this up because it's just starting to look so bad. And um, I mean, it's really old. So anyway, I went and got my paste because I had just heard that you can clean silver with uh, the cleaning paste. So I went and got um, the cleaning paste in my Enviro cloth and I started rubbing on it and oh my gosh, all of the black, dark, gray, dingy stuff that was on this mirror came off. I wiped it, I wiped it, you know, wiped it all off, got my polishing cloth and buffed it all, and look at how beautiful it is. Now this is, this mirror is probably, I don't know, my grandma was 80 something when she died and she's been dead for 10 years. So, and I don't know how long she had it, but anyway, I got it all cleaned up and I'm super excited about that. So and that's that's my exciting uh, um, paste, Norwex cleaning paste story. So um, the next thing I want to show you is the dusting mitt. Now this, this is our dusting mitt, and you just put it on your hand. But before you do, you might want to rub it together a little bit because it kind of flares up the fibers and gets static electricity, and then it really collects the dust. Put it on your hand. Um, and you can dust all kinds of surfaces with it, you know, your tabletops, your light fixtures. Um, it's really nice because you can wrap, the, you know, your hand around and you can get those intricate little places in your light fixtures or whatever and get the dust off. When you're finished, um, you can take this either outside or over your trash can or whatever, and then we have this wonderful rubber brush that can be used for all kinds of things. Uh, it's just got rubber bristles on it. If it gets really dirty, you just run it under the sink and clean it off, you know, use it for everything. But anyway, you go over and you go over your trash or outside and then you just brush all the dust off of this and into your trash. So I don't have much dust on here because I don't use it for anything. But anyway, so that's a rubber brush and that's the dusting mitt. Now you don't have to buy um, wax, you know, end dust or pledge or whatever it was that you used on your wood finishes. You don't need to buy that stuff anymore. Again, one less chemical in your house. Um, when you use the, you spray that wax on your wood surfaces, um, actually when your house starts to get dusty, all that dust will cling to that wax. And so that will save you some time. You probably won't have to dust as often because, um, the wax is not clinging to, or the dust is not clinging to the wax anymore. So another time saver with Norwex cloths. Um, so the next thing I want to tell you about is our laundry soap, because you're probably wondering, well, 
you know, how many of these do I have to buy and how often, you know, how do I wash them? Well, our, um, our laundry soap is um, biodegradable. It is concentrated. It has no harsh chemicals or fillers in it. And it is a great, great laundry soap. So you can use this for all of your laundry, not just our Enviro cloths. But it's great to use our, to wash our Enviro cloths with this soap because it doesn't have any fillers or anything that are going to cling to the microfibers and clog it up and make it so it's not as effective as it was when you first purchased it. So this is a great uh, laundry soap to use, and this is all I use now. Um, when you uh, when you get it, it comes with a little cup. Show you like how. Let me sh let me show you on my hand. That's how big the cup is. Probably probably about the size of a half dollar and maybe an inch and a half tall. Um, so when you if you have an H E high efficiency washing machine, you for a large load, you would use a teaspoon and a half, or probably about half of this, about half of this, a little bit less than half of this little cup. If you don't have an HE washing machine, you would use a tablespoon for each load. Now this little bag does 100 loads of laundry, so um, it's gonna last you a long time. So I would say I probably get a new bag about every four to six months. Is, is all. And you know what I was noticing was that when I was using that other name brand um, detergent, my washing machine always smelled that nasty smell. And um, since I switched over to the Norwex laundry soap, I don't smell that in my washing machine anymore because that smell <clears throat> is bacteria growing in your in your washing machine and you don't have that anymore because you don't you're not putting those fillers and those harsh chemical things into your wash machine. So your wash machine is gonna love you, your pipes are gonna love you if you switch over to our laundry soap. Wonderful, wonderful product. Um, okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is our mop. Um, and we have a wonderful mop. Next to our um, window cloth, our mop is our next most popular item. And here's what it looks like. Okay, it has a telescopic handle, goes up and down very simply, you just twist it, twist it. It has Velcro on the bottom of it, and it has, uh, it comes with two different pads, um, look like this, and then they're Velcro on the other side. And um, this, is a, this is your dusting um, pad for dusting your floor, and then it comes with a wet pad that you just get wet with water. Again, no chemicals, just water. Your floor won't be all streaky and have a film on it anymore because you're just using water. Um, I know a lot of people say, but I like the smell. I like my house to smell clean. Well, you can actually um, put some essential oils in, um, in a spray bottle of water and then you can spritz your, your wet pad and um, you'll get that a fresh smell, you know, whatever your favorite smelling essential oil is. So um, you don't have to, if you don't mind just using water, you don't have to use a spray bottle. You know, you, if, depending on how big your house is, you know, you might need to wet this one more time while you're cleaning. You know, if you have a real, if you have a really big house, you might want to wet it, but you don't want it very wet. Um, you just, just wet enough to clean the floor and then you keep on moving and your floor dries really fast because it's not all wet. Works great on um, luxury vinyl tile, uh, planks, um, hardwood floors. If you want to just wipe, just damp mop it, um, you can get this really dry and use it on your hardwood floors. <clears throat> um, a tile, we, it, we do sell a tile pad um, separately and it is wonderful I have it and it's wonderful it has like these little um, like zigzaggy scratchy things in it so it kind of gets it's a little more um, into the grout areas and it cleans it a little bit better so if you have tile you might want to look into that that's a great this is a great mop pad so let me show you um, how I'm gonna move my camera here um, it's down to the floor so that I can show you how to use the mop. Okay, so you just drop your dry mop pad on the floor. 
Um, and then you, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's see, drop it down on there, and then you just step on it like that. Now I need to bring this up because I showed it to you how you can move it telescopically. Um, and then you just twist it, tighten it up a little bit. Okay, then you just start mopping your floor, and you always wanna go in a figure eight um, pattern, and you wanna keep the dust in front of you. And then another handy little thing is when you put your mop pad on, you can actually off center it a little bit, and then you can catch your baseboards like this as you go along. Um, you can catch your baseboards. So that's really, really handy to have um, to get your baseboards clean as well. So put my thing back up here. Um, anyway, so that's our mop, and it's the same thing with the wet one. You do the same thing. You just get it wet in the sink, drop it on the floor, and um, you just start mopping your floor. Now when you're finished with your dry mopping, uh, dusting, you wanna take your rubber um, brush and go over to the garbage, and then you just brush that off. And it, it will collect a lot of dust, a lot of dust, a lot of um, whatever's on your floor, hair and things like that. Some things that are gonna be bigger, crumbly things are not gonna to stick to the mop, but if you get them over to your garbage in that area, then you can just grab your um, Enviro cloth and just kind of wipe up that stuff and throw it in the garbage. Um, so that's a really you know handy way to clean that up. Um, so that is the dusting mitt or the um, the dusting pad for the mop. So one other great item is this Enviro um, wand. Okay. Now we also have a pad for the mop that looks just like this and it works really well like if you have pets and lots of hair and things like that in your house um, you can get the mop head that it looks just like this. So but this is the um, Enviro wand which I love. Um, you can use this for ceiling fans or any high areas that you have. Um, it actually comes apart. Um, it has these little those little, uh, you know, things that you push in and you hope that you don't pinch your fingers in them, you know, it has those on there. And this comes off and then you just put this right on your mop handle. Those of you who have those high cathedral ceilings or any kind of a high area that um, you need to reach to get the cobwebs out of the corner. Um, there we go. Um, so this will just slide right on to your mop handle, just like this. There you go. Click it on, and then you can go around and you can get your really, really high areas, like your crown molding. And this actually bends um, like this. And if you want to get a really high area, Okay, just happened to have my um, ceiling fan right behind in the camera, so let me show you. But I want to I want to take this off of the of the mop handle, and I want to put it back on the regular handle just so I can show you how long it is and how easy it is. Now I'm not very tall; I'm about five foot one on a good day, um, so I can actually reach. This is in my kitchen. I can actually reach my ceiling fan. And so I, I want to fold this two times to get around both edges, just kind of like that, okay? And then you just lay that up there on your ceiling fan and bring it along like that. And my ceiling fans probably really need to be clean, so I'm glad I'm doing this for you. You know, it gets spring and you start turning them on and, um, and then the dust goes flying, but um, with this demonstration, I'm going to have them all cleaned up. Um, to your benefit because you're gonna to get to see how this amazing tool works. So anyway, this is um, a great handy thing to have for cleaning. So that's all I have for you today. Um, of course, we have many other items. Um, we have body products. Um, let me show you that really quick. We have body products. We have washcloths, um, body cloths. We have towels um, and again, you don't use soap um, with these. They have backlock in them. Um, for those of you who have dry skin, these are gonna be your best friend because that soap is 
the chemicals in the soap are what dry out your skin. So um, this actually has backlock in it. Um, you don't need to use soap. Really, really helps you out a lot. We also have a, um, a makeup remover cloth. It's, it's kind of a little uh, shiny, not shiny, but almost a suede feeling little cloth. And you just put water on it and you, it takes all of your makeup off of your face. It takes uh, waterproof mascara off and then you just rinse it off and you can use it two or three days before you um, throw it in the wash. So body cloths, body towels are wonderful. Um, I like the hand towels. I like to have the hand towels because they can hang in the bathroom for a week and they don't have any bacteria or germs in them because of the silver. So um, one more thing I should show you, speaking of towels, is this is our chenille towel. And I have it hanging here on my stove. I like it because um, when you move from the sink, you you know how you need to dry your hands off. And um, I am kind of a freak about people using the dish towel to dry their hands, and then I have to use the dish towel on the dishes. So I love having that hanging in my kitchen. And also in the bathroom, it's great in the bathroom. So. Anyway, that is all I have to show you today. We have lots more products in our catalog, and I will definitely put a link on for our catalogs and for my website so that you can place your order. If you'd like to host a party and get free Norwax, our company is very, very generous to their host. So do let me know if you're interested in, um, if, if there's just so many things that you want when you look in the catalog, um, um, think about hosting a party because you get a lot of free stuff. That's how I got most of my stuff. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing how much free stuff I got. And I had multiples, you know, like I had two and three Enviro cloths and I had two um, uh, window cloths and I had two um, the mitt and I actually gave them away for gifts. So anyway, so it's really nice. So they're very generous, very generous. So let me know if you would be interested in hosting. All of our parties are online now at this time with the coronavirus. We're not able to go into anybody's home. So I set up the party for you on Facebook. I set up a group. Um, you invite your guest. I post daily. Um, we'll run the party about a week. I, at some point, I'll do a live video and you can invite your friends to watch and ask questions and I can demonstrate anything that anybody wants to see, but I, I will have some things picked out that I'll do for the demonstration, the live demonstration. So let me know. I'd love to help you out and get um, um, some Norwex cloths in your home. So thank you very much for tuning in.